Welcome back to Nickelodeon's Comic Corner Classic Class Noon Classics. This is episode number 2227, double number 2121. Now I have a DC, basically two DC trades here. Actually, one DC, one Marvel trade. First of Marvel we have is Thor Epic Collection Volume 6 Into the Dark Nebula. This collects issues 195 to 216. The issues in here are part of Jerry Conway's run for the book. With uh, co-writing by Stan Lee and Lee Ween. Uh, the artwork is done by John Bushman, Tom Perlin, and Sal Bushman. Mostly put, basically, in these issues, it's just basically, like, a lot of the time just Thor mm, hang out with... Oh my gosh, seriously. Uh, sorry about this. My, my head, basically, is like a little twistier. Anyways... So, it's like a series of stuff happens, like Loki tries to stick uh, Mogog on Thor. Yeah, that's mostly what happens over the course of the first few issues in this trade here. Yeah, it's him and also fighting a guy called Katarg. Yes. And that's pretty much the the whole storyline of the first few issues, him versus Mogog, who's invading... Uh, Asgard to get Odin's sword. And of course, basically, we also see the Midgard Serpent here. Which this thing popped up also for Fear It's Up. Currently, it's dead now. Yeah, Donnie Coast killed him off. And then, basically, for 200, well... Then we have a fight between, like, Thor... You know, basically, 200 is simple as this. It's a big humongous brawl between Thor and Loki over the course of this whole issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this issue here, uh, here's a strange, and of course, basically, also Pluto as well. Uh, Loki would disappear with Thor comics briefly, because here's a strange thing, though. After this story, he would next pop up in the classic crossover Avengers to Avengers Wars. Matter of fact, he's one of the lead factors into it. And then, of course, you have Thor fighting Pluto, a.k.a. Hades. Well, Odin is Odin sleep. And then Raph, then he deals with Return of Ego Living Planet. Who apparently is taking a former giant human for some reason. Yes, Ego is here doing this. He fights him a certain period of time, and then eventually you have to do with a Donald Blake thing where apparently his office is being uh, re repossessed. And then, of course, for some reason, he starts fighting Mephisto with issue 205. Yep, fight Mephisto. Mm -hmm. Which is so awesome. Yeah, beat the crap out of Demon who ruined Spider-Man's marriage years later. And then he has a rematch with the Absorbent 206. Also gotta love the banner thing. That lasted for a while. After the Absorbent, then, then Loki finally returns to the pages of Thor. Like I said, after a brief absence. He doesn't do very much. Apparently he's been cured of his blindness. Because here's the strange thing. After 200, he would briefly went blind. And then eventually we start back now thanks to Evil Eye. And then you have Thor fight a guy called 3D Man. Yep, he fights him over the course of the next few issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also fighting various other creatures. But this stuff is still really good. I'm going to give this book here a 9.5 out of 10. It's actually going to give a 10 out of 10. It's just, it's just really good. Um, here's the thing, though. In a row for Thor, I have two more left, and I have to go through other numbers for Thor. But I will still continue reading Thor Epic Collection because I love series like this. And here's another character I've got in the 60s, which makes him like the... Let's see. How many series now have I got in the 60s now? Let's see. i got Amazing Spider-Man. Daredevil, X-Men, Hulk, and now uh, Thor. I've got five characters out of the 70s, 60s already. Now he's getting not exactly out of the 70s just yet, but he's in the 70s right now. All right, next up we have is DC Comics by Darwin Cook. This is basically a series of stuff that Darwin Cook did before he passed away. A lot of it is like, this is his artwork. Mostly put, it's a lot of variant covers he did, including various stories he worked on from these following books. Newton Showcase 19, which I believe was the first time he did a comic for DC. 
Batman Beyond for 2024, I believe. This is from Volume 2 for the series. Batman Ego, Batman Ego Undertales, Hardcover Edition, Super Avengers 41, God Points 1223, Where's Jazz Number 1, uh, Legion Worlds 2, 9 through 11, uh, Catwoman Selena's Big Score, the, the Opening Store for Catwoman, Batman Goth Adventures, Number 7, DC New Frontier, that mini series, the Chibabic, uh, Volumes 1 and 2, more way Western Tales, Superman, a lot of, basically a lot of variant covers. It's mostly put, the whole point of this thing is celebrating the late Darwin Cook's art style. He he had a very much Silver Age art style done in a modern in modern text. Uh, I found this book really fun. If you're a fan of Darwin Cook, check this book out. I give this book a 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong here. Uh, yeah, lots of very lot, lots of covers. Not much for stories per se, but there's definitely lots of covers because he worked on a lot of covers over the years. Like his covers here for the Spirit. Yeah, he did run. He did run for the Spirit, and a bunch of our stuff here. Okay, so yeah, that's it for single view. Uh, next up is going to be one more common corner. It's on back to Doctor Who. Yep, for a six-parter. Okay, next view. Bye.